started screwing up. I'm tired of going down, I'm tired of myself, I'm tired of this town. Pine, big pine, the fish are the only difference. City out of harmony, lingering on the dissonance. Fishermen wrapping up citizens with their fishing nets. Sometimes chemicals, some played old imprisonment. Dissidents laughing at themselves as if they had a voice. Acting like technology really gives them a better choice. Protect the borders as we stack up our elitism. Defeatism is what we pretend that we keep believing in. I'm straddling both lines, the quietest revolt. Politicians fake like they're caring that we vote. Legalese verbose, cause if it's plain English, then us ADD riddle and riddle children might get it. And if they do, then you're fucked. When they know what's up, you might start seeing public servants dressed as little punks. No tie, no suit, they just looking for some truth. Campaign funds came from hacked ATM booths. Fucking grassroots, man, they talk and run and shoot. I just sit back and figure out what the fuck to do. And of course, I want the loot. Everyone deserves the freedom first. Trying to find a balance between callous and liberal bleeding journey. Up just, we have the Eosheen E52. Now it looks sweet and innocent, but really this is a little devious con artist. Some Sean Connery going on, and I don't mean the way it hides its little arms inside. Because that, I, I kind of dig. Keeps them out of the way for travelling. What I'm talking about is this little critter on the front. Now on the box and the adverts and emblazoned with HD this, HD that, so me being a gullible thought it was going to have a wide camera, so that was the only reason I really accepted this, um, because I thought we'd have a wide camera, I thought at least we'd be able to get a mild FPV experience out of it. Uh, I don't think so, I think it's 15 frames a second and 4.3, the pictures are 720, so I guess it's a HD cam. Yeah, there's a disturbing plethora of 4.3 cameras on Banggood now that are all listed as 16.9 and it's, it's the one thing that's really doing my head in, to be honest. Please Banggood, stop listing your 4.3 cameras as 16.9. Pretty please? Okay, this one you've got to turn the quad on first by holding the button. I don't know why, there's none of the uppy downy silliness going on, you just got to turn the quad on first, otherwise I couldn't get a bind. After the quad's on, you can turn your Wi-Fi on your phone, you should see a Wi-Fi UFO of some variant. Now I couldn't find any links to this software for this, and the software for the other folding ear sheen, selfie drone thing, doesn't work for this one. But, because it came up as Wi-Fi UFO on there, it downloaded Wi-Fi UFO app, and it worked. And it still works. So, you can tell just from how much is in there, close up, it's just going to be crap for close FPV flying in amongst stuff. You might be able to fly around fairly large trees, but even the frame rate's not good on that one, so in terms of a, an FPV experience, I'm, I'm not impressed. And I haven't even flown it yet. So, let's record some rubbish video. Okay. We have uh, auto take off and auto land with this one. It's actually the only way to take off as that I'm aware of. And it's this button here. And off we go. Fairly mellow rates to start off with. Now the trim's fairly coarse on this one. You won't be able to get it to a, a rock steady hover. You can set the quad down and press down and right on both sticks to get a hover, but it, it won't do a perfect hover basically. It's always going to have a tiny little bit of drift in it. It's just a little bit too coarse. It gets close, but that's it. So I'm going to have a real gentle float around here, and we'll just see what that video is going to be like that's captured.
And I've hovered this, but I haven't actually flown it. The self level is a little bit strong and springy to ease into it. So it's going to pop in and out of self level. Okay, felt like it carried on turning for a second then. Let's just try that again. No, no, it felt okay then. Okay. So it's developed a little bit a little bit of drift already from what we first trimmed it to. Not a lot. Second speed mode. Gives you a bit more pitch. I mean, it flies very stiff and robotic. It's like it needs more, more eye gain. <laughs> it wants to lean over on corners. So the yaw's not any faster, I don't think, but for FPV, it's fast enough. And the third mode, I don't think the yaw's any faster still. Do we get more pitch there? Maybe? I'm not, not convinced. Now, flip. Couldn't get this to work inside. Holding it and then pressing their direction doesn't. Pressing it while holding the direction doesn't. And then holding down the button while pressing forward and backwards and left and right, that doesn't do it either. So I, I don't know what you got to do to make this flip, but it won't for me. Let's take a picture. Let's sort the drift out first. In fact, it's, it's a selfie drone. Let's take a picture of me. <laughs> hey, come back. Yeah, sometimes it, it's almost like I lose RC range or something and it, it just kind of keeps going and won't react for a, for a split second. Doesn't fill me with joy. Now it's got a headless mode and a return to home, but it's, it's not, it's fake. It's just gonna, it's, okay, it's in headless now. That's forwards, that's backwards, and it wants to go to the side. Yeah, you can set that. Oh my God. So it's a little bit straighter, but it, it's rubbish. And return to home is just gonna go backwards, which it thinks is over there. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop that. <laughs> so it's got a bit of an identity crisis, this one. It thinks it's a little travel pocket quad, but it flies very stiff. It, it tries to be a selfie drone, but whoa, unless the pictures are extravagant, I, I don't think it really does very well as a selfie drone either. It folds well. <laughs> unless this is your very first quad and you've never flown anything before I don't think you're going to be particularly impressed but as a first quad it's not it's not bad it's just not very precise so let's try the auto land not bad I mean, it does what it's supposed to do, but just in the most basic way it possibly could. I'm not sure there'll be many people that'll be buying this and not, not modding it. It's like an FPV camera, just there, maybe. Oh, look at that.
<laughs> okay. So we have a 200 milliwatt switchable VTX camera on here and a magical harness. So it's a JST that comes out to a lossy socket for the battery and that also comes out to a little pico blade or whatever they're called for the camera. So this is way heavier with a 700 milliamp hour battery in it and the camera on there. It's uh, possibly not going to fly. <laughs> it's definitely not going to fly. <laughs> Okay, same thing with a 300 mile nanotech battery this time. Okay, it lifts itself. Let's just uh, dial that one trim in a second. Okay. Oh, let's uh, we'll give that a flash in already. What? Shut up. Other land. Manipulate like Machiavelli until I'm grabbing it. I feel something creeping in it up. I feel something creeping in it up. I feel something creeping in it up. Tired of this town. Me two times shit gear, six gear, mash it till I get there. Philadelphia state of mind until I get my head clear. DMV stand up, Baltimore and what the politics of everything suck. So just man up. Don't know what to stand for, at least I'm still upright. Even those on the down low can be uptight. Not me, I'm me. Balls in my hand when I'm spitting, cause my potency's stronger than any man's. And I'm never laying down, feet are not in the sand. Only vacations we get are at the bottom of the glass. Talking off again, popping vodka for a ten. This fit is like a time machine, a weekend in Japan. Line by line, my rhymes revealing what's inside of me. Nothing to be proud of, but at least I get it out of me. How did he get the doctor out of a lobotomy? Whatever he's got to probably be put inside a bottle. Please, FDA approval, then it fixes the economy. Rationality becomes a standard for the economy. Less bombings and a sharp decline in who's in poverty. Suddenly, the Nobel Peace Prize goes to a rhyme like bang. <laughs> oh. Watch your propellers if you crash, even in grass. So, with a camera on there, that was actually really nice and smooth. I mean, it was still a little bit too much self-level pulling back on you for the springy effect, but it, it actually flew really smooth. So, as a 5.8 setup, it, it, it could work as a first quad. It's, height holding is going to make it nice and easy to fly. Um, and a little jerkiness doesn't really matter at first when you're just trying to like stay in the air and not hit stuff like yourself <laughs> and then a little bit straighter there we go main problem then is 300 milliamp hour battery really didn't last very long it's flashing after a couple of little punch outs 700 milliamp hour batteries were too big for it so there's a really tiny window there and even then you're probably only going to stay in the air for a couple of minutes so this is not going to carry extra weight if you strip the FPV gear out of it and put in the same weight as in in 5.8 gigahertz, you'd be you'd be all right. But I'm not sure there's three grams worth of Wi-Fi stuff in there. I don't know. I might take it apart and have a look. I don't know, guys. You tell me. Would you like me to mod this with some 5.8 stuff and have a little fly around, or should I do a giveaway with this? Because somebody's probably going to enjoy it a lot more than I would for a first quad.